McCoy 1999 again, and today we're going to be doing a video about an update on my PC. So if you've watched our previous videos on PCs, you'll be able to tell that I've made a lot of changes to my computer, from the power supply, the graphics card, to even the cooler for my CPU. Let's start with that. So I changed from the Hyper 212 Evo to what this is, is an H80i from Corsair with dual Noctua's on it, which gets a cooling job done very well. It's about 40 degrees, stable when we're playing games. I'm not really sure, but I'm guessing it goes up to about 60 maximum. So now I've actually gotten a GPU, so you consider this a gaming computer, because I've seen a few comments in our last video that said just because we have an APU doesn't mean it's really a gaming computer, which I see is true now, now that I've gotten a graphics card. This is an R9-280X from Sapphire. It's the most overclocked 280X you can buy in stores. Obviously, you can overclock it yourself, but I'd rather buy this so I don't have to mess with it. So, to power my new parts, I've changed out my power supply from a 500 watt sort of I guess generic one that I gotten from Micro Center to the Corsair CX750M. I can I think I can even tell that it's a bit quieter, but it's a very nice power supply and pretty reliable. I usually buy parts from the Corsair brand. All right, next up, I've upgraded my RAM. I've doubled the amount before I had 8 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance. Now I have 16 gigabytes. Okay. Next, I know you can't really see it in here, but there's an SSD in here. It's one of the Samsung 850 Evos. It's 120 gigabytes, and I put Windows on there just to make the whole general computer faster. Alright, thanks for watching. This has been another video by Ian McCoy1999. I know we haven't been doing too many videos lately. Actually, it's been a couple of months, but hopefully we'll get back to that regularly and keep making our videos better and better. Thank you. Please like, comment, and subscribe.